Well, hey, second and third graders. Um, so you've made it. This is our last foundations lesson of this year. Really proud of all the hard work you've done this year. And, you know, keep it up this summer. All these videos are going to be available so moms and dads can practice with you over the summertime. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful summer. And um, it's been really fun to work with you, even though it, we haven't been together. So uh, this is going to be Foundations uh, Level 2, Unit 9. Um, so we're going to be uh, continuing our controlled vowels. But before I start, um, you know, I always like to start with a couple jokes. So here's a couple jokes for you. All right, so what do you call a pig that knows karate? What do you call a pig that knows karate? A pork chop. Yeah! <laughs> All right, here's another one. Um, what's the difference between a train and a teacher? Well, the train would say, choo-choo, and the teacher would say, take the gum out of your mouth. All right, that was kind of a silly one. All right, this one I kind of like. What do you call a fish with no eyes? What do you call a fish with no eyes? You call it, push. <laughs> See, it doesn't have an eye and it does it. All right, fish with no eyes. That's my favorite one. All right, so our controlled vowels, we're gonna start with our warm up as usual, okay? So do it with me. We'll start with our digraphs, okay? Do it right along with me. W H woof, T H th, C K k. Remember, C K comes right after a short vowel, okay, in a one syllable word. C H ch, S H sh. Very good. All right. Glued sounds. Remember, just make the sound. Here we go. Ong. See if you can beat me. Am. All. Unk. Ink. An. Onk. Ang. Ing. Ank. Ung. Ong. I think we got them all. All right. Our controlled vowels. We'll be revisiting these in just a moment. What sounds ER make? Er. OR. OR. UR. ER. AR. R. IR. ER. Good. Closed syllable exceptions. Remember, these look like closed syllables. The exception is these vowels make a long vowel sound. They say their name. Ready? Oast. Old. Beat me. Here we go. Olt. Do it faster. Eind. Eild. Oast. Good. All right. Vowel teams. Remember, usually with vowel teams, it's going to say the name of the first vowel. Not always, okay? But that's just some a helpful hint. All right? Ready? What sounds O-E? O. -E? o. O O U. What's the other sound? U. E Y E. O A. What sound? O. O Y. Oi. Remember the ones that end with Y are usually going to come at the end of the syllable, okay? Or the end of the word. O U. What sounds can they make? Ow, like an out. What other sound? U, like in soup. A I, A, O I, Oi, A Y, A, E A, E, says the name of the first vowel, E E, E, U E, what sounds can they make? Two different sounds, U, like in rescue, or U, like in blue, E W, what sound? U. O W, owl or O, owl like in plow, O W or O like in snow. And then back to this one, O, oh, good job. All right, real quick. All right, so we're just gonna, this is just review. This is just good practice. <clears throat> Think about what type of syllable this would be. It's closed. So what sounds that O gonna make? Ah, blend it, ob. Now the vowel's at the end. This is now an open syllable. So what sound's that O gonna make? O, blend it, bow. 
okay? Now I have a vowel, a consonant, and an E. What sound's that vowel gonna make? O, blend it, ob. Good. Closed syllable, what sound? Uh, blend it, ub. Vowel, consonant, E. What sound's the U gonna make? Oo, blend it, oob. What other sound can the U make? It also says its name, U. What blend it, ub. Okay, let's just do one more. Close syllable sound. A, blend it, ab. Open syllable sound. A, blend it, bay. Okay, vowel consonant E, what sound? A, blend it, abe. Very good, okay. All right, so we're getting into, we're gonna continue with, um, oh, I forgot trick words, I'm sorry. Let's do trick words real quick. Remember, we don't make the sounds, you just read them. See if you can beat me, ready? What's the word? Picture, say the word, learn. Earth, father, brother, and mother, good. All right, all right, so we are gonna continue. Let me pull my board over here, okay? Don't worry about the sentence, we'll get to that in a minute, okay? Just look up here, okay? So we're going to be talking about this week, ER, IR, and UR, okay? What sounds do all three of those make? We know that they all make the sound er, okay? Now here's the tricky part, okay? If you're trying to write a word, sometimes you just have to try it to see if it looks right, okay? So for example, if I'm writing burn, I could write it this way, burn, b, er, n, or burn. Now, most likely, you've seen that word many times before, so which one looks right? What do you think? You guessed it, okay? You are in that one, okay? All right. Um, or first, remember we have E-R, I-R, or U-R. Let's try first. We could do f first f first Erst. Now notice that Mr. Jarvis is uh, tapping out the sounds, okay? Do that, okay? It'll help your brain, <clears throat> Your brain, I promise you, okay? Now which one looks right? E-R, E-R, I-R, or U-R? Which one do you think it is? You got it, you've seen that word many times before. That's the correct one, okay? Now, let me show you um, a two-syllable word. Hamster, okay? First I clap it, ham, stir. What's the first part? Ham, I just worry about the first syllable. What's the next part? Stir, st, er. Now, which one am I gonna use? Okay, now here's the trick. If it's at the end, usually, almost always, it's gonna be E-R. ER almost always comes at the end, okay? So that's your trick with knowing if it's ER. Now, IR and UR can come in the middle and so can ER, but if it's at the end of the syllable, it's almost always gonna be ER, all right? So now I, I uh, do my parts. Ham, stir. What's my first syllable? What kind of syllable is it? Look at the vowel. It's got, it's closed in by that consonant, can't escape, so it's a closed syllable. Don't forget your glued sound, am, box that up. And then let's look at our next syllable, stir, all right? Well, I see the ER, remember from last unit, right? We have to circle that R-controlled vowel, and this is an R-controlled syllable. And then if you mark that blend, awesome sauce, all right. Um, thirsty. 
One more that I'll show you, and then we'll get we'll get going into some words that you can read. Okay, thirsty. Oh, sorry. First, I clap it. Thirst e right now. This one actually has a base word and a suffix. What's the base word in thirsty? Thirst. Then I tap it. Er. Good. If you try, if you know, ER doesn't quite look right. Okay. So again, this is something where you could just try it. Does it look right? Not quite. Does it look right? Not quite. So I know it's probably IR. And then what's my suffix in thirsty? Suffix Y, right? So first thing I mark, I'm going to circle that suffix, get that out of the way first. Then you're going to scoop your base word, thirst. What type of syllable is this? Well, you got your R-controlled vowel here, so this is going to be an R-controlled vowel syllable, okay? And then if you mark your digraph, and then your blend at the end. Awesome. Okay. All right. So let's get into some reading some words. I don't have these scooped and marked this week, so I want to see if you can just read it yourself, okay? I want you to see if you can beat me. Ready? All right, what's your word? Entire, right? You got N, tire. All right, what's your word? Thickest. Your base word is thick. You got your suffix E-S-T. All right, what's your word? See if you can read it. Squirt. Okay, our controlled vowel there. What's your word? Whirl. All right, this one's a little bit tricky. What is it? Perfume. Okay, if you try, remember, you can make a different sound. Ooh, perfume. That's not going to be a real word, right? Okay. All right, see if you can read it. Disturb. Ooh, here's a three syllable word. Ready? Consider. Consider. Okay, another two, three syllable word. See if you can find out where to break it. Tall er eight. See that vowel consonant E there? The word is tolerate. Okay. All right, let's do nonsense words. What's the word? Plurm. Okay. And quern. Good. All right. Last thing we're going to do before we start some spelling, uh, you can try it on your own. So um, we're going to try to read this. See if you can read it with me. Ready? My mother and father gave Bert a surprise party when he turned 10. All right, now let's try to read it nice and fluently this time. Ready? My mother and father gave Bert a surprise party when he turned 10. Very good. Okay. All right. Remember where that pause button is? Make sure you have your pencil and paper ready. If you don't, go ahead and grab it now. All right, here we go. Eind. All right, pause it and you try. Okay, were you right? Remember that's that closed syllable exception because that I is long. Okay, you don't have to mark it, but I just wanted to show you that. Okay? All right, here's your next sound. Pause it and try. Were you right? Great. Okay. Next one. R. What's that R controlled vowel? Okay. I forgot to tell you to pause it. All right. All right. Now here's a trick word. Father. Okay. I want you to pause it and try. Father. Think about what it looks like. Remember trick words. You can't use sounds. You just have to know it. Pause it and try. Father. Okay, were you right? 
If not, just go ahead and rewrite it and make it, make it correct, okay? Um, mother. Okay, pause it and try. Were you right? What's the tricky part of this word? That O kind of makes a short U sound. Uh, right? But it's an O. And if I want to change this to brother, what would I change it to? Just change that beginning. Mother, brother, they look the same, okay? All right, let's get into some unit words. Publishes. All right, now I gotta think. Does this have a suffix? Yes, it does. What's the base word? Publish. So then I clap it. Publish. Then I tap it, okay? All right, pause it and try. Publishes. P-U-B. Lish, l i sh, and then what's my suffix? E s. Okay. If I'm marking this word, first I circle, get that suffix out of the way, then I uh, scoop my parts. Pub, lish, close syllable, close syllable, makes that a short vowel sound, and then we have our digraph in the end there. Okay. All right. Here's a hint with this word. Whirl. Now this word has a digraph at the beginning. Now try the three types of R control vowels that make the sound er and see which one looks right. Whirl. All right, pause it and try it. Okay, which one looks right? Whirl, this one's right, okay? It's okay if you got it wrong. It's always okay to make mistakes, right? Okay. Um, let's do a couple more. Uh, temper, clap it and tap it. Temper, pause it and try. T M, next part, per. Now this one has to be E-R, Y because it came at the end. Remember, it's usually ER if it's at the end. What's my parts? Tem, per. What type of syllable? That vowel's closed in. Short vowel sound. R controlled vowel. Very good, okay. Um, all right, another two syllable word. Let's do uh, one more and then we'll do our sentence, okay? Surprise, clap it. Sir, prize. Tap it out, pause it, and try. Okay, that was a tricky one because we have an S that makes a Z sound here, and then you have three different ways you could do UR. You could do ER, IR, UR, okay? But this is how you spell surprise. Sir, prize. We got our R controlled vowel here, so it's an R controlled vowel syllable. And prize, what type of syllable is this? You got your vowel, you got your consonant and your E, right? So that's vowel consonant E, long, always long, where it says its name. And then we cross out that E because it's silent, okay? All right, here's your sentence, and then we're all done. What time did your brother return? What time did your brother return? All right, go ahead and pause it and try it. What, that's a trick word, time did your brother return? Hope you clapped it and tapped it out. Re Got that open syllable there? Turn. Okay, and this is a question. What time did your brother return? Now, if you did ER here, IR, I'm not mad at you. Okay, good job, all right? But that's how you spell the word return. All right, so that's our controlled vowels. Again, guys, I am so stinking proud of you. Uh, working hard this year and keep up the hard work and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Take care.